Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashville Nether, and we're back again with another $2 coaster grab bag. Included in the coaster grab bag, we have a couple different leathers. Most of the leathers that you'll find in there are the leathers that we use for our Horween leather belts. The one in my hand right now, this is English Tan Dublin. We also have black Chrome Excel here. Here's a really beautiful color number eight Chrome Excel. We have two different natural Chrome Excel to show you because the color does range kind of a dramatic amount because it is natural. There's no color applied to it. We're really just matching the pull-up color of the natural. So you can see on this darker one, that pull-up color should be just about the same. And last but not least, there's also brown chrome Excel. And I also added in some hidden surprises of some leathers that we've never done before into the coaster grab bag. In addition to the grab bag, we also have a couple different four packs available. So one of the four packs that you can get is the brown chrome Excel that you see in my hand here. And the coaster four packs, you get four of the same type of leather of the coasters. You also get a nice little cloth bag and a wax stamp box. It's a nice little gift pack. And the other color that we'll be offering a four pack of for this round is natural Chrome Excel that we looked at just a moment ago. So if you're into picking up some coasters, last few times we've done these, I think the last time we did a thousand of these in less than an hour. So they tend to go pretty quickly. So I'll put these up on the website by the time you see this video. And again, we only have 750. Uh, so hopefully you're able to grab one. So you can find the leather coaster grab bag as well as the four pack on the sale page of our website, ashlandleather.com. So I mentioned all of the coasters that we're doing, most of them are made from the leathers that we use for our Horween leather belts. And we also made a couple special private stock belts that I'm very excited to show you today. Check this out. We've got Navy Chrome Excel on top of some natural Latigo as the backer. And this is a really unique belt. We've never done one like this before and I just love how it turned out. In addition to the two layers of leather that you can see here, we've also got two rows of stitching along the edge, which sort of frames it out in a very nice way. We also have a matte nickel buckle on this side. If you're into this belt, this is actually gonna be available on the private stock page of our website. This is 36 inches. So the measurement for that 36 inches is from the pin of the buckle here. And this is how you're gonna to wanna to measure your belt. Measure from right here to the hole that you currently use. So for this one, 36 inches gets you right to the middle hole here. So the smallest hole on this one is actually 34, and 36 in the middle, and then 38 is the largest hole. And I have one more private stock two layer belt. This one is in that classic brown Chrome Excel on the outside. This is the side that's gonna face the world. The backer part, is also natural latigo and I'm really digging this combination of natural latigo as a belt backer especially with the brown chromex on the other side we sort of accented the natural color of the liner on the inside of this belt with the thread color so that cream color thread matches very well to the natural latigo on the inside which is very neat I mentioned two layer belt so you're going to get that stitched look all the way around the belt and this one we've labeled 36 inches, just like the last belt that's also 36 inches. This is measured from the pin of the buckle to the middle hole. But wait, we've got some more stuff here. I'm sneakily adding a couple more private stock items to the private stock page of our website. Check this out. Inverted violet shell cordovan with some really dramatic patterning, sort of figuring from that dye. A really cool color range here from the violet sort of magenta purple, a little bit more orangey and tan in some of the lighter color range. On the inside, we've got more of that inverted violet. And you can see the stain here that was used, the violet was actually finished onto this side intentionally, which is the reverse side of the shell. So you get these random dye marks and drip marks, all that color variation on the shell side, which is unlike most of the reverse cordovan. The word invert is a little bit confusing. We wanted to distinguish it from the reverse shell cordovan. Normally shell cordovan, of course, has the stain applied to the shell side. And we decided to call this inverted because we're coloring the unintended side of the leather to get these random dye marks on the shell itself. So that's why it's called inverted. It's a little bit confusing, but either way, it's just a really great look. Here's another something that we have never done before. And if I put this wallet up to the microphone here, listen to this. It's very squeaky. And this is a, a sound that you'll hear from veg tan leathers. And what this is here is a veg tan horsehide strip that has been shrunken and tumbled. This is sort of another skip mad scientist experiment. Check that out. Really, really deep and dramatic natural texture on this tumbled strip. And this is a black color to it. Sort of the side effect of tumbling 
is it opens up the grain of the leather a bit. So you get almost like a suede black look and it has almost a velvety feel. So we decided to make a fat Herbie out of this really special piece of leather and we accented it with some blue stitching around the border. On the inside, we've got the same thing going on, but we've had some additional stitching around the edges of the card slots, which we don't normally do. Here's another really great inverted violet shell cordovan piece. And we've combined that inverted violet with some natural shell cordovan. We're calling it the PB and J. <laughs> it's a very cool look, this wallet. This particular one and some of the inverted violet shells have this really dramatic crease mark. And I'm not sure if that was intentionally done by the tannery, but we thought it looked cool. So we decided to cut it in to this wallet along the bill slot here, right in the center. Sort of a nice little horizon line. And what that does is it gives you a great texture contrast as well as a color contrast in the inverted violet. So inverted violet does have that color range from a little bit more of like a magenta purpley sort of reddish purple color. It's hard to say, kind of magenta I'd say it would be called. And then it ranges a little bit more orangey and a little bit more tan. And then we've again, complemented that with some natural shell cordovan for the middle piece here. And then the inside we did the same thing. So Tony the Ant, we have four card holders. So we've got inverted violet on top of natural shell cordovan card holders. This one also has hand stained violet edges, which turned out very well. And the last thing to note about this very special Tony the Ant, there's no stamping involved. So we have no Horween ink stamp in the center. There's no hot stamps. Here's a Johnny the Fox that I've been very, very excited about. And this is a leather that we've seen a couple times before, but it's rather new for us here at Ashland. This is a variation on the Chrome Excel leather called M's Chrome Excel, and M stands for mechanical. So this is a slight variation on the Chrome Excel that was modified for use in motor seals and gaskets and things like that. So M's Chrome Excel here, and we have two different animal hides. So on the exterior, this is horse hide russet M's Chrome Excel. On the inside, this is the very, very special part. This is the calf skin, and this is true calf. A lot of the calf that you find in the world these days it's not actual calf. So we made a couple special wallets with the M's calf. Hopefully we'll be able to show you more of those coming up soon. This is the wallet, if you remember Skip's wallet from before. It's one of my favorite fat Herbies that we've ever seen. This again is the M's calf skin in the russet color. Take a look at how well this is aged. And Skip has not polished this at all. This is sort of just naturally how bright and shiny and filled in the M's calfskin gets just on its own. So really special leather and it's extra thin because it is calfskin. So we thought it'd be a good opportunity to make some special Johnny the Foxes out of it. So that's what we have on the inside here. Calfskin M's Chrome Excel on the inside of this Johnny the Fox with the horse hide on the outside. Here's another great thin wallet and I am partial towards thin wallets personally. I find them to be just a little bit more comfortable in my pocket. And this is a version of that Tony the Ant we looked at but we call it the tall Tony the Ant. So the bill slot extends all the way to the top on the outside of this wallet. A little bit different for this guy is we have all horse hide. So the exterior of this wallet is horse hide latigo and the color is called stone. It's like a really nice brownish sort of gray color. And the inside is also horse hide. So extra thin, tall Tony the Ant here and horse hide stone latigo. Here's another Tony the Ant. I love the combination of this one. It's built for patina. And you can see this Tony the Ant, this is our traditional style with the bill slot with a thumb notch in the back. And that's just designed to give you a little bit better access to cash on the outside of the wallet. The reason we started making the tall version of the Tony the Ant is there's some taller bills around the world, like some taller yen, some taller pounds and euro notes will stick out a couple millimeters from this little thumb notch. That's why we started making this modified version called the Tall Tony. But the Tony the Ant here with the thumb notch on the outside is the model that we started with. It's just like our Fat Herbie design that we were looking at earlier. People liked the aesthetic of the Fat Herbie with that exterior bill slot, but they wanted a little bit more slim down. So that's how Tony the Ant came about. This one has natural show cordovan on the outside and it's a really nice glow, really beautiful luster on this particular piece of natural shell. And just take a look at how the color shifts and changes in the light here. Some angles, it's a little bit more orange. Other angles, it's a little bit lighter. And some angles, it's a little bit darker and more red. It's a really interesting color. On the inside of this one, this is what I love the most. We have reverse natural shell cordovan for the card holders. And I find that the reverse interiors are just a little bit more easily filled in and polished in as opposed to a shell interior when this wallet will inevitably get scuffed and scratched. So when you wear it, 
all the cards sort of rub against themselves on the inside of this wallet, the reverse is just a little bit more easily polished. Last but not least, I've got a really special piece here of inverted violet shell cordovan again. I think we have three different inverted violet shell cordovan pieces here. And this wallet here is our Vic Snap wallet. We were calling this the coin pouch for a bit. This was a, a model that a lot of people in Japan were asking for, so we started making it. We have this one here in that inverted violet, which works out really well for a design like this because this is just one long piece of leather. So you get a really good opportunity to see all that cool patterning of the inverted violet shell side, as well as the violet underside here. This is actually the reverse side of that inverted shell. It's a pretty stark purple color and it's really, really beautiful. So thanks for checking out all this stuff in the video today. I wanted to sneak in some private stock wallets. And again, this is your first notice here on the coasters. The last couple times we did these, just I can't believe uh, how quickly people pick up these things. Uh, so it's a pretty great deal and we don't often do it. And until next time, hope you guys have a good one and take care.